Hello, my Rotary family. I'm here in the beautiful island of Tarawa, where I'm with the president of the Rotary Club of Tarawa, Ruth Cross. And we are here in the island nations of Kiribati, where we have an incredible program going on to immunize over 100,000 children for rotavirus, uh, pneumococcal uh, disease, and HPV. Ruth, you actually grew up here uh, most of your life, moved to Australia, and moved back. What does it mean to you as a parent, knowing that we're here on island uh, undertaking this incredibly large project that is a special initiative of Rotarians in Australia and New Zealand? I've had the great privilege of being able to spend time living in Australia and, and having, raising a child there, but also living here in Kiribati and knowing what we actually have and mostly what we don't have. So being able to see what this project brings to Kiribati I know it's making a huge difference to families that who otherwise wouldn't have access to these vaccines, these resources and the health system which would not have the ability to be able to deliver this, these immunizations. So oh. the challenge is here and I mean it's this idyllic beautiful place um, but access to clean water and sanitation, proper nutrition, these are big issues and it's actually I mean affecting the mortality rate particularly for children under the age of five. So why is this important? Um, what is it, particularly as a parent, tell me what, what your feelings are on, on what we're doing. Well, of course, as parents, we, we all want what's best for our children. And importantly, we want them to be healthy and to thrive. Yeah. Now, the major challenge in Kitabas is because of that fragile water lens that we have, access to clean and safe water is a challenge for families in rural communities. So these interventions such as rotavirus can help protect the children who, you know, once they, you know, once they become sick as a result of waterborne diseases, you know, their, their immune systems aren't strong enough to fight the illnesses that yeah. they come across, the, the vomiting, the diarrhea, things that shouldn't kill children. Yeah. But in Kiribati, it do become fatal because, because of the struggles that we have and the struggles that families have to be able to help their children through these. So, you know, it's, it's, an, it's an incredible program and I know that it's helping families and it's helping to save children's lives. Well, and you're also helping in so many other ways, empowering women, uh, empowering youth um, through entrepreneurship. This is a big part of what you're doing personally here um, in your home country. Tell me a little bit of what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Well, we know that when you help women, you help families yeah. and helping women to, I guess, to, to get through the economic challenges that they have by providing them you know, business skills and providing them micro loans, help them, help them provide for their families and help their families and then ultimately communities. They give women more confidence to help them become leaders in their communities. Same thing with, uh, with youth. Our youth culturally have always been very obedient and have always followed instructions, whereas now we're really trying to shift that attitude and help them recognize their role in leadership and their role as stewards for the future. And to start early, to start now, and to not wait till they're told it's their turn, but to understand that preparing themselves now will mean that they're better prepared for the future and the challenges that they'll face. Well, and isn't that what Rotary is all about when we think of our vision statement, the lasting change across the globe in our communities? and in ourselves and I couldn't be more pleased and proud to uh, be here with you in person and our Rotary family this is one amazing Rotary Club president Ruth thank you for being amazing and to our Rotary family we'll see you and talk thank to you, you soon.